Um, it's Sunday, and you know what that means. It's time to send it! Although it's probably Monday when you're watching this, because I have had a slight technical issue. Forgot to turn the mics on. <laughs> My God, literally just been crying for half an hour. An hour, maybe two. Anyway, we're going to cut back into it. I'm going to repeat everything I've just said, or tried to. What's been going on on the internet this week? Well, last couple of weeks, you've probably been seeing these guys pop up. <laughs> yes. Now, these guys, if you don't know, are from Guana, Nigeria, and they basically carry in the coffin, the casket, whatever you want to call it, at the funerals. It's kind of a big deal over there, celebration of life. Uh, let me just get something clear straight away. If I ever go early, even late, I want these guys carrying it. All right, I want to go out with style. These guys have got style. Now, they have been popping up. Basically, big crash video with the music, building up, ends up with these guys dancing. I found myself on one of these memes. Yes, I did. <laughs> Check this. Yes, the double push loop. A few years back in K-Town. Uh, also spotted Chris Murray on there as well. Actually, we'll send this on WhatsApp. Yeah, so if you've got some good ones of these guys, um, maybe send it in and we'll do a little montage next week. Yes, yes, we will. Um, what else has been going on? Well, along the same theme, um, the young duotone fanatic writer Caesar Filippi put this on, and this is stop motion. Check this thing. is a slick video. Yeah, I love it. It's, uh, it's very topical. Uh, and a lot of people have been doing this stop motion thing. If you don't know what it is, basically stitching a load of pictures together to make a video. I first saw it a few years ago now, but the human skateboard, do you remember that? That was just insane. That is a sick video. That is a sick video. But like I said, I have been sent quite a few of these this week because it has took over the windsurfing world. Now, a few of them, I don't have the names of the people because they were sent by WhatsApp uh, from someone else. Um, but I think we've got to check out this one. These two boys, check this. This is a forward loop in the middle. Looks a bit endo. <laughs> and then gets washed. Just love, love the creativity here. Really, really nice. Yeah, so keep up those coming in. We all, I also saw this one, uh, maybe the French girl. I don't know, haven't got a name, but this is pretty cool. Loving the voiceover. Wow. Yes. Also had Nicholas send us this one from the garden. And to round off the stop motion, Pavel in his garden from Poland. Uh, a couple of nice jibes, tacks, and throws in the forward loop. Yes, pretty sick, pretty sick. So if you've got, um, or you want to put together a stop motion, uh, you've got plenty of time in your hands, surely. I'm going to... I'm going to find a prize for you. I'm going to find a prize. By next week, the best stop motion. I might include a few of these. Let's see. Um, to see what we get in. But I'm going to find a prize for the best one. So if you want to do that for next week or maybe the week after, let's see what we get in. I will organise a prize for you. Um, what else has been going on around the internet? Well, Ricardo Campello, he's been sending it. 
Yeah, centered it too hard. Oh, mate, there's a that is a hole. Is is it is it a hole? Looks like a hole. Um, I was thinking, how does he do that? And you realise he's been eating the boom. He said, "Don't not eat the boom. It's not good." But then you look at the picture. You don't think it looks like this really short windsurfing sail, and his and his mouth has hit the mast. Is that is that just me? That's freaking crazy, freaking crazy. So get well soon, Ricardo. Um, also saw this shot from Mattel Yakino. Um, you know, a sequence shot, but this is a nasty late hit just through the lip. Oh, mate, absolutely punished, punished. Um, I saw Danny Bruce uh, post an absolutely sick double forward. It's kind of just lovely to watch in like slow-mo and it just looks absolutely Perfect, absolutely perfect. So nice from Brucey. Sort of push forward from Pons. We know he can do them, but again, nice slow mo push forward. It's just like we're not sailing and just watching them think, whoa. I mean, it's high level, but kind of motivates you to go sailing. Um, what else have we seen on social media from those boys? Chris Murray said to me, uh, Make me own board, Ben. I was like, How's it going? <laughs> not good. Not good. Kind of melted out the fin. Boxes had to bodge it together. I actually did think of making a board. I thought it might be the idiot's guide to making a board, but then I realized I don't even know anything about it and I'd need someone to even try and help me. But maybe that is a feature for the for the future. Like I make a board and then try and sail it and have to do a wave ride and a forward loop on it. Could be a cool feature. Could be a cool feature. Uh, what else have we seen now? I think we've been seeing a bit of this. Yeah, Patrick Bergeron. Now, this bloke, he's getting on a bit. He won't mind me saying that. I'm getting on a bit as well, so I'm allowed to say it. But this move he does, I keep seeing this picture, and this laid back, head throw, body arched aerial. I want to learn that move. That is a move I'm going to learn. Patrick, I need some tips. Do I need to practice in the garden? Maybe that is something I can practice here before we get back on the water, because I want to nail that move. I'm, I'm going to nail that move. I want that shot in my, uh, in my sort of portfolio. Uh, so there we go. I'm going to do that. Um, also, I'll tell you what, who's been nailing the moves this week? Bernard the Bear. <laughs> yes, we have another animal windsurfing for you this week. Bernard the Bear. He goes from zero, never windsurfed before. Um, some lizard tells him which way the wind's coming from, which is usually helpful. He goes out there. Um, he takes a bit of time to get He's got the move. Yeah, he's got the move. We like that, Bernard. We like that. And then just go straight into a Chopu aerial off the lip into forward loop full plating. Yes, mate. Go for it, Bernard. Go for it, mate. We're loving it. Uh, it doesn't end well. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Bernard gets a little dump on the head and comes back in and, and that's it. So uh, interested to see another animal on the cartoon. And then I was thinking, I wonder who produced this or who directed it or who wrote it. Maybe it's a Windsor for I know. And then I saw the name Moreno, but it's not the Moreno twins. Do you know who wrote this? I think it was about 10 years ago. Someone said it's quite a while ago, this cartoon. Or maybe you're watching. Maybe you inspired this. I'd love to hear from you. Absolute classic. Absolute classic. Um, what else have we got going on? I think, well, we've got to talk about land surfing. Land surfing, land surfing, land surfing. I'm sure it's much more dangerous, we will find out very soon, than windsurfing, but you're allowed to do it. Um, so who have we got? We've got a bit of a montage of people. Uh, first up, this is a pretty sick idea over in Sweden. Yeah, Ig Ignas uh, over in Sweden, putting the drone to good use. We've had Kevin Logan over in America, uh, just killing it with the old uh, North sail. Is it a Zeta? Maybe it's an Ezzy. I can't remember what it is, but uh, loving those old sails, getting a bit of a workout. Uh, we've had plenty of others as well. And then we had the speed demon himself, David Troop. <laughs> Exactly. David is flying 22 mile an hour to be precise. And I was thinking, bloody hell, imagine if he came off at that speed. He did. He did. And it didn't end well. Um, so get well soon, David. Looks like he's done his knee. But he said he had a killer session. Um, and he was happy. But I was like, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. We also had other guys uh, trying to hurt themselves as well. Um, ben Shlomo. 
and you're expecting it to be in slow-mo. It's not. That's just his name, Ben Shlomo. I like it. He's from Israel. Aim and his brother would put some foot straps on it and it just looks sketchy. You're like, this is not going to end well. It doesn't. No. <laughs> that, that just looks like carnage. Absolute carnage. Um, we also had this fella over in Greece. Yeah, this is John. Looks pretty windy. Do you see that takeoff? Yeah, got a bit of speed. Got a bit of speed. And the only way to run off the speed is just going into the grass. <laughs> it's a good job that sail has seen better days. Um, and that's one for the ladies. Yeah, bum of the week. It's a new feature. We're going to be bringing it back every week. Bum of the week. Are we? Is that controversial? Are we allowed to do that? If that was a woman, we probably wouldn't be able to do that. But we can do that, I think. I think we can. Any, any, any bad comments, put them below. I'll answer them. I'll answer them. Um, okay, what else have we got? What else have we got? Are we going to turn to the lookalikes? Yes, we are. So we've had a few lookalikes come in. I'm not going to use them all up this week, but the first one is absolute. Tony Hawk. Yes, that well-known skateboarder, probably the most famous skateboarder in the world. But who in the windsurfing world does he look like? Have you got it? Have you got it? We're going to morph it in. I'm going to morph it in. Robbie Swift. Do you see that? I mean, that's actually pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good. Nice work. Nice work. Um, who else have we got? Well, actually, I have been sent some lookalike. He's that I look like a few people. Um, I'm not going to use them up just in case there's a few more. Maybe we'll do a whole load of them next week because uh, I have had a few different ones. So if you think I look like someone famous, maybe send it in. Uh, send it at windsurfing.tv. We'll put it on next week. Um, obviously, thanks to the sponsors. <laughs> The mailing room.com, yes. We've also had uh, this fella. Yeah, this is Alessio Stilrich. Now, who does he look like? Who does he look like? He looks like, apparently, a young Josh Angulo. Do you see that? There's definitely something. There's definitely something there. There's definitely something there. We're also going to throw it out to the uh, to the normal windsurfers out there. So any of your mates uh, or people you know, do they look like anyone famous? Now, I saw this one on social media this week. Now, we've all been in lockdown, so the hairdressers have been out of the question. And Toby Irons um, has not been having a haircut. So... He's been getting a bit of jip for looking like Marv from Home Alone. I can definitely see that, mate. I can definitely see that. Um, next week, we've got someone who looks like uh, Pablo Escobar. Yes, you know who you are. <laughs> I'll put him on next week. Okay, so what else have we got for you? I think we're going to have to go to the forward montage of all forward montages. Check this thing from Joel in Switzerland. Yes, Joel, yes. This is in Karpatos in Greece. Absolutely setting these forwards. He said his good ones are on camera. Oh, yeah, mate. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but there's some absolute sense in here. Um, he does finish the video with a make. I reckon you can claim that, man. I reckon you can claim that. It is definitely, uh, definitely a claimer. Definitely a claimer. Um, also claiming it, uh, Martin. Yes, Martin, who was on our Send It Academy in Cape Town. Um, he managed to pull off push loops uh, at the end of the week before he even pulled off the forward loop. I was like, yes, mate. Yes. But we didn't have any on camera because he did it after the clinic in Cape Town. So he went home and he's like, I'm going to do one at home. But it was onshore. A bit harder when it's onshore. But he does it. Check this. Yes, super nice, super nice. And that's the thing with these clinics, you know, not just our clinics, any clinics, you get all the tips, get all the stuff and you take all that stuff home. You take all the videos home and you keep working on it throughout the year. And sometimes the move comes after the clinic from what you've learned. Yeah, a week's a pretty intense time if you're going to learn like the high end moves like forward loops, push loops. So really good to see uh, some of the students going home and pushing on. A few of them can't go sail at the moment and they're like, Arr. so don't worry. We're going to be featuring a few of them on the Send It Academy. So if you haven't followed the YouTube channel, get and follow that YouTube channel because I will be doing some case studies. Martin will definitely be one of them because he's got some super interesting forward loop steps, which I think a lot of you who want to learn to forward can follow. Trust me. So definitely follow the channel. We've only got 1,200 subscribers and we've got 21,000 on Witsurfing TV. So get over there, hit the subscribe button. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Um, 
other people who should hit the subscribe button on this. <laughs> These guys. Yeah, this is the Explore Windsurfing uh, School over in France. Benoit sent these in and there's some sends on this. Some nasty old fort. <laughs> loving it. Absolutely loving it. Um, picture of the week. Lots of pictures this week. I've just picked out two. I've just picked out two. Firstly, we're going to revisit the Ghost Rider. And this is Extreme Ghost Rider. Yeah, this is Alexis, and he is high ghost riding. Yes. So a while ago, um, I've been told he's one of the best wave sailors in Greece, or definitely was in the day. He was doing doubles and crazy stuff. Some old videos on YouTube, and he is sending it. But in this shot, this is extreme ghost riding. Like, where is he? Oh, yeah, he's down there. That is a huge bail. Absolute huge. And then next, we've got Alex. He's been windsurfing 25 years. He's run centers, and it's took him that long to learn this move. Yes, the Cossack dance. <laughs> that is a hell of a position. I mean, yes, I could imagine him in the bar with the old vodkas, Cossack in a way. Yeah, you got it? Yes, beauty, beauty. And there we go. We're going to leave it there for this week. Um, and don't forget, wherever you are in the world, don't forget to send it. Oh, God, so there we go. That was the second time I've done that. That is, that is a beast. That is a beast. I'm going to do some prize draws. Uh, we have got uh, a couple of new sponsors coming on and we're going to give away some prizes. So the members will be eligible for those prizes and not the guys who are not members. How do you become a member? You literally just have to chip in a bit of beer money. Um, I think the lowest beer money you can chip in is like 20 quid to be a reoccurring member uh, and then you'll be entered into the prize draws or you'll have uh, ways of winning stuff. And there will be some cool prizes coming up. I've been working on a few things. Um, so yes, hats. I'm going to do draws next week. So if you want to get involved, chip in some beer money. The has been some new members this week. Yes, you legends. You legends. I'm going to stick them on the side here or here, whichever way it happens in the editing. But thanks a lot. Like I said, you will be entered into the prize draws and you are keeping the channel alive. I know I keep bugging on about it, but literally that is the way we're surviving right now. So thanks a lot. I uh, hope you're enjoying the videos. Any comments, let us know, uh, especially if you give us a down thumb. We've had a few of them last week. I don't know if it's because I swear. Is that, is that why I get the down thumb? You, Harsh, harsh, harsh. Um, leave us a comment either way. Click on the videos. Stay tuned to the channel. See you next week.